what you eat, the kind of things that you're eating and the kind of diet you follow can actually make lupus a lot better. Sit. All the foods that go through your body very slowly, lupus bodies actually like that. And one of the diets that we have clinically trialled um, at the Louise Coote Lupus Unit is the low GI diet, and that's the low glycemic index diet. And basically, it's what I call the old-fashioned way of eating. It's going back to all the stuff that hasn't been overprocessed: Brown rice, brown bread. You've got the real good stuff. These packet vegetables, you can steam these in a microwave. There's no additives, so they're obviously much better for you. And you can get some real exciting stuff. This is something called super vegetables and there's lots of really good stuff in there. So these will go in the microwave or into your wok and you can do this in the same length of time as it takes you to take one of these chemically enhanced meals and throw it in your microwave. So obviously this is great. I think it's important for lupus patients and other patients with chronic illnesses to remember that they should lead us normal a life as possible and I think that really includes following all your passions as well so whatever you like to do whether it's sewing, knitting, going abroad, reading, music, whatever it is you should really make sure that you make some time for that and as you can probably see my passion happens to be cooking and baking in particular. I'm known as the Cupcake Queen in the Lupus Unit in particular because I like to make cupcakes. I think it brings out the artistic side in me and I like a bit of bling, so it means I can put glitter and sparkly things all over food, which is obviously fun. And also the nice thing is that you get appreciated after because everybody loves them. So they're fun and it's just something nice to do. So in conclusion, obviously a healthy diet is good for lupus patients, but A little of what you fancy, does you good.